Whether it's poultry, livestock, or soy, the modern farmer is committed to a greener, more sustainable way of life. From advancements in biotechnology to strict government policy, agriculture is among the greenest industries in the world, a title they rarely receive credit for. Production agriculture has made and continues to provide a significant contribution to the American way of life. However, recently, from my perspective, the American public, and specifically the rural communities, have consistently expected a, a greater expectation from animal agriculture and their producers. It always bothers me when we hear people say that farmers uh, aren't very good stewards of the land, that they're, you know, that they're uh, destroying it or abusing it or not taking care of it, whether it be through crop production or whether through swine production. We believe in doing more than is required in order to assure our neighbors and the public and even the regulators that there is no chance of any contamination, any pollutions from our application procedures. There has been dramatic changes in the animal agriculture production in the U.S. over the last 30 or 40 years. Uh, these changes generally are focused around the increased size in production facilities, the increased number of animals that each operation has on the farm, and a general trend towards raising livestock and poultry in confinement barns. From soil to harvest, the world of farming has made drastic environmental improvements thanks to organizations like the Soybean Checkoff along with strict government regulations. Regulations are essentially an extension of the laws. They provide specificity to what the Clean Water Act or the Clean Air Act or, or other uh, environmental laws intended for uh, the, the government or state agencies to implement. Nowadays, the farms that we have, including the one that we own today with the 2,800 sows, has got a zero runoff mandate. So we can't allow a single bit of that waste raised by the hogs, which is very good commercial fertilizer. We like to refer to as organic fertilizer. None of that is allowed to run off whatsoever. Along with EPA rules, most states also have uh, very specific requirements that generally uh, deal with specific concerns related to soils and geology and other climate conditions that are applicable to that particular state. The regulations will typically vary from state to state, but most of them have them. My granddad taught me that you don't abuse the land, that you treat the land with great respect, and that you work hard to maintain it because it will reward you if you care for it. My dad felt the same way. I feel the same way and I'll work to instill those values to my son and my grandson. So a lot of us are family farm operations. Uh, we live on this very same land ourselves. I've got a 21-year-old son that just graduated from college. He's planning on making this his career. I've got a 16-year-old son that's gonna be a junior in high school this fall. He wants to come back to the farm. It'd be very foolhardy for us to think we're gonna just uh, short change mother nature and rob the farm of its natural producing ability for our own profit and they have nothing left for our next generation. Today's farmers are looking to tomorrow with safer, greener, more sustainable tools and practices. Show them your support and keep the U.S. economy strong.